Silverstone Circuit, March the 24th, 1985. An important day in the annals of motor racing history because it saw the birth of Formula 3000. The Cosworth V8, with over 150 Grand Prix victories to its name, provides the driving force, but fitted to even lighter, faster chassis than in Formula One. Those chassis come from Rolt, designed by the evergreen Ron Toronac. March, who entrusted their works team to Mike Earl's Onyx operation. The French AGS factory, with this beautifully crafted carbon composite car. And Lola, who drew on successful IndyCar experience in developing their Type 950. Modified Grand Prix cars were also used with examples of Williams and Tyrrell, who were the last to use the Cosworth in Grand Prix racing and whose Type 012 needed very few changes for Formula 3000. The driver turnout was truly international. From France, Michel Ferté driving a march for the Oreca team. His elder brother Alain Ferté in the works Lola. And Philippe Streff, winner of the last ever Formula 2 race. Italian names included the talented 23-year-old Emanuele Pirro, driving an Onyx march. Gabriele Tarchini, former world champion in karts with his San Remo march. And the experienced Lamberto Leone in one of the Formula 1 Williams cars. From New Zealand, reigning Formula 2 champion Mike Thackwell, leading the Bridgestone Rolt team. And from Denmark, his teammate, John Nielsen. From Germany, the tall, determined and very rapid Christian Danner in the BS Automotive March. This is Scotland's racing aristocrat Johnny Dumfries driving another Onyx March. And in the blue and yellow of Sweden, Thomas Kaiser. From Switzerland comes the determined Mario Heiton to drive one of the Lolis. And from Belgium, Thierry Tassin driving the other Richard de Vila prepared Williams. And representing Brazil was the talented Roberto Moreno in the Baron Tyrrell team. For that opening round at Silverstone, the weather played its part. The gamble on the grid was whether to start on wet weather tyres or dries. Michel Ferte made a last minute change to wets, so did Thackwell alongside him. Most of the rest were on slicks, but when the lights went green, the road was still very wet. From the second row, it was Pirro's slick shot march that was the first leader of the first Formula 3000 race, but Silverstone specialist Thackwell was on his tail. Off to the right goes Alessandro Santin's march, the first victim of the slippery surface. At Maggot's curve, Thackwell is already challenging for the lead, and he goes through. Pirro is still second, and in third place, Danner ahead of Moreno's Tyrrell. Well down is John Nielsen in the other Rolt, after a slow start. Michel Ferte has made a slow start from the front pole position, but he's now already starting to come through and challenging Pirro. At the chicane, Thackwell's out on his own already, plumes of spray. Danner is second. There's Michel Ferte in third place now, ahead of Pirro. And Moreno is next up in the Tyrrell. Thackwell, who knows all about driving in the wet at Silverstone and has won the international trophy twice before today, settles down to a storming but very tidy drive. But up into second place comes Ferte, forcing his way past Dan. So now it's Rolt first, March second, March third. Further back, behind Tassin and Langez, Tarquini spins his San Remo march. But he keeps out of everybody's way and carries on. Not so lucky as Johnny Dumfries. He abandons his car out on the circuit. And now Michel Ferté makes his move. On a now drying track, he gets inside the twitching Mike Thackwell Rolt at the chicane and puts his march ahead to take the lead. But while Michel's Avons seem to work better on the drier track than do the Bridgestones on Mike's Rolt, as Thackwell looks at the sky, he can see that more rain is on the way. The umbrellas go up again in the crowds, and the heavens open. 
and Thackwell goes one side then the other to find his way past the weaving Ferté march. As they come up to Woodcutt's lapping Pirro's march, Thackwell gets his revenge. It's been a race of tyre changes, and although these cars are all on wet weather tyres, some of them are still on slicks, including Roberto Moreno, who executed this magnificent spin at the chicane and barely lost half a dozen seconds. Less lucky was Michel Ferté. He got the chicane wrong too and severely damaged the front of his car. But he never had any thought of giving up his pursuit of the leader. So Thackwell motored on, and now his own teammate, John Nielsen, had come up into a distant second place. It was a Rolt 1-2, a magnificent start for Ron Torrenac's team. The battered Ferté March still got third place, with Danner, Tarquini and Moreno all a lap behind. It was Thackwell's third Silverstone International Trophy win, and he was very happy to be the first Formula 3000 winner. I knew today that there were showers about, and I thought, well, it's got to be wet, you know, you can't do anything about it. I tried to outsmart Ferté and hoped that he wouldn't, he wouldn't cotton on and change too, but he did. But it turned out all right. So Formula 3000 had had a first-class debut, despite the weather. And two weeks later...